In today's tutorial, we're learning how to make this animated burger ad in Canva in just a few minutes. We'll also look at how we can convert it to, for example, posters that you can use in your marketing campaign or social media ads, all using the same materials and animations in just a few simple clicks. So it's a very flexible way of creating marketing materials for your brand or product. So this tutorial, I'll split it into three parts. First, we will look at creating the basic design. Then we'll look at the animation part and we will look at the fine tuning and customize it for different platforms. And if you want to save some time in Canva, I also make templates available, which you can download via the link in the description below, and they will save you a lot of effort and time in your next project. And we're starting from a blank canvas. Now, first thing you want to do is you want to add the background. So go to elements and here type in dark background. Click on photos, see all. And here we can use any that we like. I'm going to go for a dark background, quite a robust one with a highlight in the middle. So something that turns a bit lighter in the middle. I think that will look nice if we put our product here in the center. Now let's add our product to the picture. So we drag it in. You can use any product that you like. We're going for a burger in our example. Backgrounds remover to remove the background. And this gives us quite a good product to work with. Now let's add some realism. So go to elements and I'm typing in shadow graphics. And here we want to select that circular shadow, make it a bit smaller and then drag it below the burger. Give it around the same size, position layers and then drag it underneath the burger. So this already looks just that bit more realistic. Let's go to the elements tab again in here, type in shape, go to the shapes tab. And now we want to look for a particular shape. In our case, it's going to be the shape with the rectangular corners and one rounded corner. I'm going to drag it 180 degrees and put it to the top, drag it down just a bit and expand it in size. So it's just a bit smaller than the burger. Go to position again and drag it below everything. Now let's add some extra elements. So let's go to all and here type in, for example, star, and then we can choose one of these star shapes, or we can go to the graphics tab and see if we find any stars here that we like. I kind of like this one. It's not the usual star, so I'm going to add it to the top, make it a bit smaller and then hold option shift or control shift to create a copy and place a smaller one to the side. So we have three stars. I think that looks nice. Let's maybe give them a slightly different color. So choose the color picker and I'm going to choose one of the gray tints from the design. Maybe that's too light, a bit darker. So it looks like it's shining through and give those the same color. I think that looks just a bit nicer in the design. Now let's add some text elements. So I'm going to do text, title, and here type in delicious. Expand the text box and place it below. Now for the font, we want something handwritten. So let's see some, if we find a brush font. And I always like this regular brush. So that gives quite a, a nice design. Something handwritten with a pen or a brush, that looks good. Add another text with burgers. I'm going to use all small caps, increase it in size, place it below and let's give it the same yellow font and place it close to the other one. This already looks quite good. Now we want to add some extra elements to the design to fill it up. So I'm going to elements again. Let's type in arrow and then look for a nice arrow, something hand drawn that matches with the brush, rotate it, make it a bit smaller like this. And then another text element, so you can press T, let's say free delivery, and then drag that towards the top of the arrow. We can make this yellow and make it smaller. And here we can see the text is quite far apart. So what we can do is select the text, go to the spacings setting, and then reduce the line spacing so the words come closer together. We can also align it to the left and then place it above the arrow. Now let's look for a few more elements. For example, let's see if we can find corner dots, because I always like this dotted effect in the corner. Let's see if we find a nice one. Maybe this one has quite an irregular shape. I think that will look nice. And then give it the yellow color. Let's turn it 90 degrees and place it in the corner. Make it a bit larger. And also the dots become smaller towards the middle. So that's a nice effect and it sort of pushes the attention towards the center. If you want something else, you can always choose any other that you like. You can also take this one here and let's also make this one yellow, turn it around, 
90 degrees, put it in the corner, make it a bit larger. And this one also looks quite nice. Now maybe some few more elements, go to text, let's call it body text. And here we can type in the website, so www.yourwebsite.com and drag it to the bottom. Text color, make it white. Oops, select the text first, make it white. And the font, let's give it the same font, go for Montserrat, and this could be extra light. Place it in the corner, hold Option Shift or Control Shift and drag to create a copy. And here maybe a phone number. I'm just going to type in some numbers so that you have the contact details on your design as well. And this gives us quite a nice design. Now, if we want to animate it, that's also possible. What I like to do for the animation, because we work with the different layers. So if we're going to use the standard animation, so let's say we select everything, go to animate page and then magic animate, it will come up with some proposals, which generally look quite nice. So if we do bold, elegant, energetic, but what I don't like is that the yellow bar is now shining through the burger. So in, in the elegant, for example, or the energetic, it doesn't look very realistic. So I like to take one where the lines come one by one. This one also looks quite cool, the handmade effect. But I think I'll go for the playful one and then modify it just a little bit. What I didn't like is these dots. So tumble. I think we can do a regular pan. And then this one is also a bit too much. So I'm going to modify that to maybe a normal pop. A bit slower. There we go. And let's duplicate the page. And on the first one, remove the elements. And let's preview. And now we have a empty page. And as soon as we click, we have the elements fly in and get a pretty cool design. What I don't like is the first start. So I think we can do that banner, add a little animation on that. So go to animate. And let's maybe do a rise, but towards the downside. And let's preview that again. And as soon as we click now, we first have that banner and then the hamburger appear. And I think this is a really cool effect. Now this works really well for, for example, on a TV or a horizontal menu. But if you now want to change the design to, for example, a Instagram post or a social media story, you can easily do that in Canva. There's now this resize button. If you click it, it will suggest a few formats. So you can choose whichever one you like. Let's say social media. And we want to make it into a square Instagram post. We can select that. Continue. It will generate a preview. And then we can either copy and resize or we can resize this design. I want to copy and resize to create a new working file. So I have two documents to work with and then open Instagram post. This will create a totally new post. So what I'm going to do here is just fine tune, increase the background and then go to the second page. Here you can see the background is already good. So I'm just going to reposition some of the objects, select those, place them in the center, same with the other elements, increase them in size. First of all, let's put the burger in the center, increase the width here a bit, change the stars. Maybe the burger can be quite a bit larger. It's the most important thing anyways. The contact details at the bottom, we just align it nicely. The text, we can increase it. There we go. And then the free delivery, we just fine tune the position, maybe curve the arrow a bit more because we have less space to work with here. If it's in breathing room on the side, and this already looks quite nice in just a few seconds. So if we now preview this, it could also work with the animation. And that gives us the blank slide. And as soon as you click, you get the animated effect as it was on the other one. So this is a pretty easy way to convert your poster designs into social media posts. Now, again, if you want to go the next step, you can always go to resize and, for example, use it into a story. So we're going to go for story ads where we have this 1080 by 920 pixels. Continue, copy and resize. Again, it will make a proposal, open your story. And here we can see that the, the same thing happens. So we have the text and on the second page, we just have to reformat a little bit, expand some topics, reposition where needed, make the burger a bit larger and reposition some items. Now on the story, it is important that you keep in mind that not all the elements will be as visible. So for example, the bottom part of the story is usually less visible because you have the account information here at the bottom. So what I like to do for that is focus on the top two thirds of the design. And you can then just put the contact information which you wanted to put at the bottom. You can copy it here, make it a bit larger and sort of integrate it more in the design like we do here. So we're going to put it a bit closer 
and then the bottom we can fill up with the design element so the one at the top is a bit heavy let's remove that and put it at the bottom so we're going to rotate it to the other side and then increase it in size there we go and now we have the text elements that we just position nicely and this also in a few clicks and with some repositioning you get the same effect and now you have a very nice story ad so if you click here as well that gives you a pretty cool design with the same animations in it and you leave that bottom part a bit open for the social media platform to fill up with account details likes etc so most important in the story is that you have the middle and top part covered so that's what we have redesigned here but you still have the same look and feel of your design so in today's tutorial we've learned how to make this landscape advertisement for presentations or to display on a tv screen but we also can convert it easily into social media posts for example square posts for instagram or story posts for instagram stories facebook stories youtube stories you name it all including the same animations and just a little bit of tweaking and if you want to learn how to put these posters into the mockups make sure to click the video on the screen right now